it in the mail MS sex games from Japan Collecting without fail Those shoot 'em ups And that's the plan He doesn't just collect them He also codes them too Join us and we'll go on Electric Adventures With you Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail all the way from New Zealand. This is a trade with a uh, fellow YouTuber. He, he hasn't made any videos for a while but he's been following me on on YouTube for 10 years um, and his name is Cyanide Breathmint, uh, Ben. Um, and he, um, in one of my videos I said that I had upgraded one of my titles and that he'd like to do a trade. So I'm not going to spoil his thing, I mean, I'm not expecting him to make a video because he obviously doesn't make videos anymore. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the mystery up to his sort of what I've sent him. I sent him a, a bonus item as well. Um, so it was after an MSX title. Uh, a shoot -em up he likes his shoot -em ups As do I. Um, and he has sent me... So I'm shooting up, and it looks like he sent me a few things by the looks of it. Wrapped very well, thank you very much, Ben. Yeah, okay, there's a few things in here. Right, so we have. Um, so this is for the Famicom, and this is really cool because I haven't had any Famicom games for a while. The Quest of Kai which is a platformer I believe adventure platformer so, that's pretty cool and there's another one here um, we'll have to wait for the gameplay it's all in Japanese I believe this is a shooter of some sort I think this is the right one so its code is ath87 I'll put the title up here when I edit I should have written it down before I did the video, but we're going to do a gameplay, so very cool. It's the main item of the trade, that and Kai. Um, but he's also included um, Prince of Persia for a PC Engine um, Super CD, which is also very cool. Prince of Persia is an excellent game, and it'd be really cool to see what the um, PC Engine version is like. And he has sent me um, a Mega CD. It's obviously not the full boxed thing. Um, there is a little caveat to this one. I don't actually have a CD add-on from a Mega Drive at the moment, so I won't be able to do the gameplay of this one just now. Uh, but I do intend to get one. Um, but it's Robo Alest, which of course is a really, really cool shooter. I might be able to borrow um, my friend's uh, Mega CD for the time being. Um, I do have another friend who's um, who's got one who's repairing one, but um, um, and I wanted to get one myself for a while. Just haven't got a, haven't found one in working condition, but um, definitely do it. And I love my Sega stuff, so very very cool. Just won't be able to do a gameplay in this particular pickup video, but will at some stage. Um, that's a very generous addition to the trade. Alright, so let's get the Famicom and the PC Engine out and give these games a try. So here we go with the Quest of Kai. Um, it's a Japanese intro, we'll do normal start. Pretty cool looking graphics already. Uh, intro story, which I'm not going to be able to read of course. Hold down. Okay, you should get a bump ahead. Collect keys. Right, I, I take it I was supposed to get the stuff from the chest first and get the treasure rather than just go straight through the door.
Oops, and don't bump your head on the roof. No. Oh, I see, but because I've hit that blue thing. Holding down the button for the right amount of time, and then we go out front. So I suppose you could call this a puzzle platform, but it's letting us in gently. Yeah, we see a lot more enemies. Can't go past there. Okay, so we'll just make for a pink blob to. Once you stop jumping, you're, you're descending, right? Put it nicely. Oops. Getting used to the mechanic and the jump arc. shows it is possible for me to learn. Generous with the lives, so we'll also. No, which I'm happily burning through. Surprisingly generous with the lives anyway, so not bad for my very first game, um, and quite an interesting title. I do actually have a whole heap of um, Namcot sports title boxes, so I might be able to print off a cover and put this in a box. Alright, let's try the next one. Right, so here we go with Des Amon. Um, supposed to be a shooter. Lots of options here. Okay, so this has got multiple. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. I should put my 
Arcade. Stick it. You can actually edit your um no. okay. Right, so it's almost like a game editor you can actually um So it's, al it's almost like a game editor, which is pretty cool. So I'm just looking at the various options. Staff role editor. Oh, I see you can put the staff in. Okay, yep. So it's like a, um, a um, design your own shoot em up. Stage one. I don't know what I've done now. heaven till I died. I'll have to download myself a, um, a translation manual. Quirky little um So I 
I take it we can redesign the shapes and all sorts of things. So how I'm playing it now is <clears throat> is how it was set up by the last person who played it. I just sort of play a level and then do a boss fight. And okay, just out of interest to see what that has done. But anyway, um, quite a curious thing. I'm gonna have to um, download a manual and see if I can work it out a little better. Definitely got some pretty fast action. title. Right, so here we go, Prince of Persia <clears throat> on the PC Engine CD. Obviously a classic Apple II game, it's where it first started. I um, also believe I've got a version <coughs> on the Mega Drive. <coughs> oh, um, let it turn off all of our stuff. Oh, yes, very detailed graphics. So, it's a time thing. Right. 
Oh, maybe we need to clear. Oh, damn it. Um, I'm a step too far forward. We need to clear that other, other platform. Um, but as you see, Prince of Fruits, a lot of fun. It's a puzzle platformer. Uh, really nicely detailed graphics and an excellent version on the PC Engine. Um, so unfortunately I can't play Rover OLS, I actually really do want to play that one. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there is a way I can... No, no, I don't don't have the appropriate thing. I mean, I played on emulation, but it's not the same thing. I'd rather wait and have experience it properly on the real hardware. I'll have to um, borrow my uh, Omega CD off a friend of mine for the time being. Um, but, and I'll do it in a separate video. But uh, thank you very much, uh, Ben Cyanide Breathmint, for this trade. Um, haven't done a trade for such a long time, and it's always good fun doing a trade because um, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeless at selling things. I have lots of spares and things. So if anybody else wants to hit me up for trade, go for it. You never know what I might have. Postage is a bit of a pain in the neck at the moment, but yeah, it's all the fun of um, <coughs> trading with somebody and getting some random stuff and, and trying it out. For, and um, you know, the um, the good will of other YouTubers. All right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.